Hey guys, here review Skinned Isolate the Gene. Here's the album cover. Now for those of you who don't know who Skinned are, they are a four-piece brutal death metal slash technical death metal band from Fort Collins, Colorado. The best way to describe their sound is pretty much like I said, brutal death metal mixed with technical death metal. I mean that with the mixed way. So let's get into the review. Vocals. Vocals on this album are awesome. They're brutal, they're fast paced, they're heavy. At some points he has these high screams that are just high piercing, just echoing, and then at other points he's got deep low gutturals. And his average death metal vocal on here, just the average low, has a mix of the pig squeal, a little bit like a pig squeal low type deal. A lot of bands do this style. Um, the best band, for example, I could think of would be like mixing Fumes of Decay with any kind of band that does an average low and you just get this liquidy low. It sounds brutal, it's heavy. A lot of bands do this style, but for me, this style of vocal really needs to blend well with the music. It really needs to stay upbeat, it needs to stay fast. It can't be, you know, just all slow all the time. It has to be bam, pow, vocals in your face the whole time, punishing brutality. That's what you get on this album. Aside from that, this will be a benefit for people who like being able to hear what the vocalist is saying on a death metal album, his vocals are very understandable. Me personally, I could care less if you can understand what a death metal singer is saying on an album. I could care less. Does it sound good? That's what matters to me. It sounds brutal, it's heavy, and you can understand what he's saying. So if you're into that stuff, pick up this album for that. Now, also with that, the lyrics on this album, being able to hear the lyrics more than any other brutal death metal and technical death metal band, they're great. The lyrics are something you can sing along to in your head, you can growl along to in the car if you know how to growl. It's just the vocals, the lyrics, all great on this. Great job. Guitars. Guitar on this album, there's only one guitarist and it's amazing, to say the least. You get this technical death metal style mixed with this heavy, punishing, brutal death metal. Mix it up all in a blender and you're getting this. Basically though, what I want to say is there's not a lot of original riffs on this album, but don't let that take you away and say, well, maybe I don't want to buy this album, you know, just because there's not a lot of original stuff. Don't get me wrong, there is some original things on here, but a lot of stuff I've heard done in the past, what makes the difference between Skinned and other bands who have tried to do stuff that's from the past and bring it to modern death metal, they do it right. They incorporate a, kind of like an old style death metal riff and they can make it into a newer brutal death metal riff that you recognize, but at the same time you really don't know where the riff is going. So you're getting excited, you think the riff will go this way and it will go that way. Sometimes you'll understand, you'll think the riff, oh it's going to go into like a little bit of a slam here or something here or there and you might get it right. But in all honesty, guitars on this album, blazing in your face, some point they play, you know, bet you can't play this. Other points though, it's really just brutal death metal with mixed with technical death metal guitar work and it sounds amazing. Great job on the guitars, love it. Just whew. Now one complaint I did have, didn't I even, I didn't really have this complaint, some people did have this complaint, so I'm gonna tell you guys about it. They do have some chorus riffs on here. This goes for the whole instrumentals as a whole, including the vocals. They do have this kind of chorus mix in some of the songs. In all honesty, that kind of served as a hook for me. The vocals served as a great hook on those, the guitar riffing, the bass, the drums. It really gave me something to headbang to or just listen to. So the chorus side of this, if you're hearing a lot of people say, oh, it's got a lot of core riffs, it doesn't really have that many core riffs. That it just instrumentals as a whole stay blasting in your face. There are a few slowdowns on this album, which I really think that in a lot of death metal, you do need to slow down, something you can headbang to, but still keep it brutal enough to where it's fast, but not to where it's like a death core, super slow, boring riff. You know, some of these chorus riffs are all right, some of them aren't. So yeah, I really didn't have a picky opinion with that, but some people did. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Bass. Bass on this album is awesome. You can hear the bass just fine throughout the whole album. There are some parts, like I say, in every death metal album review, and this goes for every death metal band, really, except for bands that have all bass you know, no guitar, all bass. You have to strain your ears a bit in some songs, but really in the beginning of most of the songs on this album, you can hear the bass just fine. It sounds great. Sometimes, at some points it keeps up with the guitar, it just follows what the guitar is doing. At other times it goes off into its own little world, the basses get shined on, and I like that. I don't get to hear bass a lot in a death metal album. I usually have to go listen to grindcore to where I can hear it more prominently, 
bass in this album. It's good, it's great. If you're a bassist or you're just looking for somebody just who likes really bass, pick up this album. Drumming. Drumming on this album is fast. I mean, this is what I think of the drumming. This is my personal opinion, don't get me wrong. The drumming is fast, brutal. At some points it can be melodic. Other points it keeps up with the band and it goes super fast. Some points it'll go by itself. But really in all honesty, it's just, this band stays as a tight knit unit to where the drums basically are following the beats with the guitar and everything else, which is great. You can keep up, it's something you can headbang to. The drums catchy on this album at some points and then just punishing at the other points. So. It really depends on how you are. At some points, like I said, they're melodic. At other points, they're just blasting, brutal, in your face, nonstop. So, I like the drums on this album. They're okay, in all honesty. I really didn't hear anything new from the drums on this album, so I really can't say that I did like them or I didn't like them. I'm kind of in between on them. They're just your average death metal, but they are so fast that it kind of adds just an extra layer of brutality. So the drums, I really do dig on this album, but like I said, nothing really new there in the drum department. Bam. So there, yeah, that's Skinned, Isolate the Gene. I'm gonna put a link to their Facebook below, and if you guys can pick up the album, do it. Great band, great people, and just awesome, brutal death metal mixed with technical death metal. If I had to make a 2012 list for last year, I mean, this is one of the best albums I picked up last year that was released in 2012. Just brutal, heavy, awesome, and kick-ass. All right, next, um, well, that's all over with, the review's done with, if you wanna turn off the video. That's up to you. Uh, where did I put that? Oh, you guys are sitting on them, ha. Huh. Okay, so, I am selling some CDs on eBay right now. The reason why I'm selling CDs on eBay is I'm trying to get some money saved up to start a CD distro. I'm not trying to start a record label just yet. I think in the future, if everything goes right and this CD distro works out, then, you know, awesome, I'll start one. But for right now, this is really just gonna be an online CD store. I'm gonna make a big Kratel. I've already got pre-orders all set up. I'm gonna be pre-ordering Worms next album, Abdicate's next album, looking into getting the Forceps EP that just came out, looking into getting uh, Go Maggots album that just came out. So I'm all looking at prices and everything right now. I'm getting everything figured out. But I do need a little bit of extra cash. I got taxes coming back. I'm thinking by the time I get all this sorted out, look at what bands I want to purchase, see what I want to, I would buy personally, but also what you would guys would buy personally. So in the link below is my eBay account. It's all set up on PayPal. And I'll put a link to the selling item that I'm doing. It's, I believe, 13 albums, two demos, and one EP. So yeah, like here's some of the albums. You got Cranium's brand new release that was in 2012. You got Severance, new release, 2012 again. Uh, Devour the Unborn. Depression, now this is their 48 track album. This is all their stuff off the B-sides of albums, splits, demos, everything else. It's 48 tracks. I mean, if you guys can get that, get it. I, you guys don't even have to get this from me. Just get it in general. The only reason I'm selling it is because I have an extra copy. So yeah, Dust of Crabdy did a review on that. Fetal Decay, this is technical death metal. And if you're a technical death metal band, just brutal, fucking insane. Uh, total Anal Infection. Uh, let's skip these. Um, the demos, this is the demo, Stinch of Virginity, this is their 2006 demo. And then this is the J.A. Jassad 2011 promo demo. In all honesty, I'm really not charging you guys anything for that. But basically, like I said, 13 albums and two demos, one EP, and I'm charging, so far I got $35 up because I think that's a good deal. I mean, you're basically playing for three CDs if you can get it for $35. And in all honesty, I really only need like 35 bucks to boost up the, well, to boost up the record distro and get some more stuff going. I got my packaging material. I got more boxes down here. I got more boxes out in my car. So I'm getting all set for that. Got bubble wrap so the CDs don't get damaged and newspapers, everything else. So like I said, down below, link to the eBay. If you guys could purchase that or somebody gets, you know, you know, if you guys are just looking for a good CD deal 
or if you guys are just looking for something new to buy but you don't really want to buy a whole bunch of like albums from a distro where it's a whole bunch of money you know a lot of these albums are 2011 2012 releases except for I believe one, two, except for four of the albums they're not 2012 2011 releases they're from the years 2006 to 2009 so I mean you guys are basically getting like brand new almost brand spanking new albums these CDs have only been used once or twice something I listen to put it in my CD like my CD scanner for my computer and put it on my computer something to listen to that way but in all honesty I'd like I said I really just need to get the money for this and like I said starting CD distro I'll have more news on that when we get to it so see you guys later